Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get temporary access into the courseware that we're going to use for introductory and intermediate algebra, Math 114. And so let's go ahead and get started. Here I am at my homepage for Google Chrome. And to get started, I'm going to type in the URL learn dot aux learning dot com dot com and that will bring us to this particular page and one thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and bookmark this page because we use this quite often of course i can't bookmark it bookmark it because i'm a guest here but you that that is something that you will want to do now, chances are you have never used, a, you have not used a Hawks product before, at least not in the university environment. Um, so you probably do not have an account. If you do, you can go ahead and enter in your email and your password. But since most of you are uh, new to Limestone, you will probably need to create an account. So come on down here and click create an account. And then you're going to need to fill in all of this fun information. For example, your first name, your last name, your email address. Um, confirm it type in a secure password that you can remember Oop. and then you need to select some security questions I guess my favorite ones is where I met my beautiful bride which is a town called Centerville and the first middle name of my oldest child. Okay, now you can put your student ID in here. It is not necessary, we'll be not using it. And if you want basically their propaganda to be sent to another email, you can click there. Once you've done all, done all that, you can click Submit. Now, once you've done that, they are gonna send you a verification email to the email address that you actually used. So you're going to need to go back there and wait for it to come. And look, mine is already here. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on verify email address. And that will bring me to this login. So now I need to sign in again with the information I just used. And here we are, we are in. Once you get to this particular point, we need to add our course. And to do that, we are gonna click on the add course button. There we go. And I'll have to wait a little bit for it to load all the information it needs to do the um, course or, or to add, add the appropriate course. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna select our school. All you gotta do is type in L-I-M-E and it'll bring you down to Limestone College. They have not updated us to university yet. Then we wanna select our product. Our product is the very last one, introductory and intermediate algebra. That's the one you want to use. Okay, your instructor, well, that would be me, Robert Boyle, right smack dab in the middle. And then your section, well, if you are meeting me at nine o'clock, you're in section one. If you are meeting me at noon, you're in section three. If you are meeting me at one, you are in section four. So select the se section that is appropriate for you. I'm gonna pretend that I'm in the nine o'clock section. Technically, I'm in all three of them. And I wanna se select continue. Okay, and that brings you up this particular option. Okay, now, if you have purchased the product from the bookstore, then there will be a license number for you to use. You'll find it somewhere in your digital bookshelf and you'll want to click there. If you want to purchase it directly from Hawks, you want to go ahead and purchase, I want to purchase access. And there you can use your credit card or the credit card of whoever is your financier. Otherwise, if you're not prepared to pay for it, like you're still checking the course out or as instructor, you can re request temporary access, which will provide you access for 21 days. However, you will not be able to click on this until August 24th when the course starts. The only reason why I can click on this now is because I messed with the settings uh, so, I can actually do, so I can actually do this. Okay, but go ahead, you can go ahead and request temporary access and there you are, that is your course. This right here is your dashboard. 
in your dashboard, you can you can you can look at the stuff that you, did, that you have to do, and there'll be a little more information as the course comes on. You can also click View Course, and it will provide you all of the assignments that you will have to do in this course. There are 30 of them, not including the tests or, or the four the four tests and the final exam. Um, you can also look at your grades. Right now, not much to look at. Good to know I'm fine. I'm, I'm actually acing the course. Uh, you can access the um, the ebook from here, and if there are any discussions uh, that you, they'll be purchased here, they'll be done here. But we're not really going to be doing that. Okay, so let's come back to dashboard. Now, when it comes time, notice that you have temporary access for 21 days. After 21 days, it will expire. You need to use this product to complete this course. If you do not have this product, you cannot take this course. You will have to drop it. There's no way around it. Now, once you're ready to purchase it, either either through the, either if you, either you have your license code through the bookstore, or if you want to purchase it directly through Hawks, just come over here and click activate. Okay. If you purchase from the bookstore, you can put in this 15-digit number. If you did not purchase it from the bookstore, you can click purchase online. If you click purchase online, it will cost you $103.99, and you'll need to use a credit card and all that fun stuff to make all that happen. If you purchase it from the bookstore, it will cost you $124.50. So purchasing from the bookstore, the, the, uh, the cost is $124.50. If you purchase it directly, it is $21 cheaper, a little less than $21 cheaper. However, if you do have financial aid, you'll have no choice but to purchase it through the bookstore. Couple other things about Hawks. Let's just go ahead and look at a particular assignment. In any assignment, you will have three modules. The first module is called Learn. It basically covers all the material that I am going to cover in class. Uh, for example, it'll give you the objectives. It'll give you the idea of the approaches that you need to do to complete the assignment, including some handy dandy little videos, which are almost as good as mine. No bias there, right? And, um, and so forth. Once you've done all that, then you can actually go ahead and practice, which we tend to recommend. Now the practice section is just like the certif certified section, except if you, if you get stuck, there are means for you to help. And then finally, this is certify. Certify is when is where you do your homework. Once you've certified, your homework is completed. If you've certified, which basically means, which basically means in this case, you've gotten 81% of the problems correct, or four-fifths of the problems correct, before the due date, you will get a 100. If you miss the due date, you will get an 80. If you don't do it at all, well, you know what that means. You pretty much got a zero. Um, actually, got to do the work to get the grade. So that is basically the idea behind this. We will talk about more how this stuff works, and I, I may do it in a separate video. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But nonetheless, this is pretty much what you need to do to get temporary access to Hawks and also the uh, options you have relative to If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Bob Oyler.